Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics, and we're setting up fully addressable LEDs, controllable through Wi-Fi and our phone, using an ESP32 development board. All possible by WLED. This app works with absolutely any ESP32 or ESP8622 Wi-Fi boards. Link in the description for an article comparing these two low power, low cost, power cyclable Wi-Fi chips. And you can control many, many of these Wi-Fi boards simultaneously all through this single open source application. WLED can be found for free both in the Google Play Store or in the iOS App Store. So no matter your smartphone of choice, you can get in on the action. On the table is everything you need to get started with this. Any ESP32 or ESP8266 development board is gonna work. There is an abundance of these boards that you can use. Here, I have an ESP32 Thing Plus C. You're gonna be controlling this either through a computer or via a smartphone. So you're gonna want one of those as well. You're also gonna want a USB cord, so that way we can put power into the system and some fully addressable LEDs. Depending on how many LEDs you may want to use, you may want to have a secondary five volt power supply for the LED strip, so that way there is enough current available to each of the LEDs. So let's jump into a computer and get started. We're gonna start by installing the software to our chosen little dev board. WLED has a website that will do all the hard work for us. You're gonna to need to use Desktop Chrome or Edge as these are the only browsers currently supported and type and enter directly into it the following, install.wled.me. It will then open up to a page like so. At this point, let's connect our ESP32 board to the computer using any USB port. Make sure it's connected correctly and appears in the COM port list of devices. If it does not appear, check the troubleshooting section on the written article. With that done, click on the install button using the most up-to-date version and select your correct COM port. The installation process should then occur and it should take less than five minutes. At this stage, we've not provided the ESP32 with any local Wi-Fi details, but it has provided me this configure Wi-Fi option. So let's go through it right now and give it those Wi-Fi details. From here, everything can now be done via the WLED app. Give your ESP32 a hard reset again by pulling power from it and plugging it back in. Then reconnect your phone or your computer if you're using it via your computer to your desired Wi-Fi. Having done this, and after a couple of seconds, you should now be able to see WLED as a device that has connected to your internet system. When you first open up the WLED app, it will look empty. Click on the plus symbol to open up the discovery page. Press start discovery, which will search through all of your Wi-Fi for all the boards running WLED software. Once it says found WLED, press the tick button on the top right. This is gonna bring you back to the home page where you will have a list of all the WLED boards on your network. From here, by clicking anywhere on the header, you're gonna be able to open up a phenomenal light setting section of this app. Now, if your ESP32 board or ESP8266 board has an onboard addressable LED used as a multi-status LED, like the board I'm using right here, you're gonna be able to control it directly using this setup. As I change the color selected by pressing on the color wheel, it changes the multi-status LED to match. So one LED is pretty cool. That must mean 30 LEDs is at least 30 times cooler. There's no law of diminishing marginal excitement at play here. To do this, we must then connect the ESP32 to the addressable LEDs, just like the schematic. The black wire is ground, the red wire is positive, and the green wire is the data pin. Easiest way to get this connection for this particular board was by soldering headers to the board and then adding DuPont connectors to the end of the strip. Having done so, and with power to the system, you should be getting light through your attached LEDs. If you haven't, jump into the app real quick, double check by pressing the power button, turn up the brightness slider all the way, click on the config setting and double check that your data pin is selected as number four. Also, while you're here, write down the amount of LEDs you have connected as it will make the effects look better. And bada boom, we have remotely activated, fully operational, fully addressable LEDs. 
Having achieved this, we can get right onto exploring what is on offer with the WLED software. So let's have a quick look at this user interface. We have a simple power button that will turn the lights on or off, but not the ESP32 board. We have a timer button so we can organize and schedule when we want to see the LEDs come on and off. We have a sync button, which means other lights in our network will have the same kind of light effects be occurring. There is also an info button giving us details about the board and setup. Below this is a general brightness slider. Below this is the color wheel, including a contrast and color tweak bars and the ability to select multiple different colors. That is for use with the effects and segments. Clicking on the effects button at the bottom will take you to a new deeper page with an awesome and long list of effects that can all be customized from speed, intensity, and colors. Clicking on the segments button will open up a new deeper page, allowing you to decide exactly what parts of your LED strip are gonna be lit up and which parts are not. From here on out, my recommendation to you is to explore the expansive lighting options. This is the most fun part after all. Just check out this crazy custom light show. I created this in less than a minute by adding two segments, which splits the LED strip in half. I then chose three custom colors for each of these two segments and then I chose two different effects for both. In my case, the two effects I chose were Glitter and Breathe. Replicating this exact pattern would be significantly harder to code from first principles than it is just to use this brilliant map. This is what I really want you to take away from this. And it's not just strips that will work with WLED. Any NeoPixel or Globit module is literally plug and play. As an example here, I've set up this 8x8 Globit matrix by plugging in exactly like before the ESP32 board and have set it up in the application to have eight unique segments, which each represent a single line on this display. Then I added this interesting rainbow colors effect to each of them. So with this fantastic system operational, it's now up to you to experiment to your heart's content. If you want any help on any project, come pop our amazing team a message on our Core Electronics Forum. We are full-time makers and here to help. And with that, until next time, stay cool.